Here we go, folks. Oh. It's Hell in a Cell time. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Boom! <laughs> Effectively using the knee. Let's hope he can do it. Oh boy, Zack Ryder is in a tough spot here. Ooh. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. Oh man, his family has to be concerned about him right now. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. Here he goes. What a spine buster by the game. Now that's how you successfully defend your title. This isn't good. I don't think Zack Ryder knows where he is. Oh, and he dodges out of the way. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Triple H looking to end it. Ooh. I don't know if Ryder can bounce back from this. In the weeks following Zack Ryder's unbelievable ladder match victory at WrestleMania, the man known as the energetic Long Island IZ shared something extremely personal during an interview segment. Ryder spoke about wanting to become a WWE superstar his entire life. Ryder also shared that he battled cancer as a teenager, and that gave him extra motivation to make sure he was able to live his dream. I conducted the exclusive interview with Zack Ryder for my weekly segment on WWE.com, and you could feel the emotion in the room when Zack spoke. Learning about Ryder's battle with cancer and how that made him strive to make his dream come true was an incredible experience for all involved. Zack Ryder is an inspirational story, no matter what side of the camera you're talking about. I know the Long Island Ice Z gave hope to everyone who watched that interview. And now Ryder's endless determination to be a success in and out of the ring all makes sense. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few are more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. The game starting to fade. Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. 
Yeah, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. And in the end, it was Charlotte walking away with the win, not Sasha. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Whoa, Triple H, he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. And it's Zack Ryder showing some agility. Of course, guys, we all remember the 1998 battle between Mankind and Undertaker. And all these years later, fans still refer to it as one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. Big punch finds its mark. You gotta believe this one's over. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. As Michael was saying, I will never forget the Mankind Undertaker match. Just the sight of Mankind flying through the air is something that will be ingrained in my memory forever. And while Mankind is the story of that match, I think a lot of people forget it was actually Undertaker who walked out of that match victorious. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. One of the reasons Triple H is so dangerous is that he's so smart. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. And it's Zack Ryder showing some agility. Pulls line. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. A spine buster. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Great agility. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. He's got him covered. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, that's pure power, guys. Nicely done. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. What? The champion into the cover. 